I'm Amy the Bunny Lady, and this is my partner Elusive, Ellie for short. High five. Good job, good job. And today we are going to learn how to pointer train our rabbits so that we can teach them how to do more complicated tricks like jumping hurdles or going through little obstacle courses. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We give tips and tricks for how to make sure you have a happy and healthy bunny in your home. So if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, then go ahead and hit that subscription button and the notification bell next to it so that you never miss any of our weekly videos. So what is pointer training and why would you want to do that for your rabbit? Pointer training is essentially just teaching a rabbit how to follow a pointer around or a stick or something like that. And the reason you do this is so that it can be a stepping stone to other tricks. So using a so pointer training a rabbit makes it a lot easier to teach them how to jump hurdles or go through obstacle courses or anything along those lines. It's a lot more difficult to train them how to do these kinds of things when you don't have pointer training first. <laughs> Pointer training is generally a pretty easy technique to teach a rabbit. All you really need is some kind of pointer or long stick or something like that. Some high value treats, of course, cut into small pieces so that you don't overfeed your rabbit on treats. And you also wanna make sure you have a clicker or that you can you know, click your mouth in some way that will be consistent so your rabbit will be able to understand the sound. Now when doing this, you wanna make sure you keep your training session short to about five minutes so you don't risk overwhelming your rabbit or making them bored. You want them to be able to look forward to the session the next day so that you can continue the training. If you go on too long one day, then your rabbit might might get bored or might get frustrated and then they won't look forward to it again the next day and they'll be less likely to cooperate with you. Step one is actually pretty easy. It's really just you want to get your rabbit to touch the pointer. <laughs> then you're not getting them to follow it yet at this point. You just want your rabbit to touch the pointer with their nose. <laughs> so what you're going to do is put the pointer out for your rabbit and as soon as they touch their nose to the pointer, that's when you're going to give a click. So exactly when their nose touches the pointer. The clicker helps the rabbit to associate the action that they're doing with the reward. So since they're not going to get a reward directly when they touch their nose, it connects that action with the reward, which is going to be the treat. So as soon as your rabbit's nose touches the pointer and you click, you give them a treat. And this will start to get your rabbit to recognize that touching the pointer is what gets them the treat. Most of the time I find that it's actually pretty easy to get a rabbit to touch the pointer. Most of the time they are naturally curious about it. You put something kind of near them, they'll be curious enough to go and just touch it. But if for some reason your rabbit is not curious about the pointer and won't go and touch it, then what you can do is rub a little bit of maybe banana or a little bit of leafy greens or something on the pointer so that it smells good. And that will, that will make your rabbit <laughs> much more curious and want to come and check it out. Also, you're going to want to remember that rabbits can't see directly in front of their nose. So when you put the pointer down by your rabbit, you want to put it to at least one, one side of their face so that they can actually see it <laughs> to go and check it out. Step two is very similar to step one. Instead of putting the pointer right next to your rabbit so that they'll come and check it out, you want to place it a little bit farther away. So give maybe two feet between your rabbit and the pointer so that your rabbit will have to move to the pointer to check it out. Now at this point, your rabbit should be already getting the association that touching the pointer is what's gonna get them the treat. Usually, this step goes pretty smoothly from the first one. So you're not moving the pointer yet, you're just putting the pointer away from where your rabbit is and leaving it there and waiting for them to come up to the pointer. And then it'll be the same thing as step one. As soon as they touch the pointer, you click the clicker and then they get a treat. This will help ingrain that touching the pointer with their little nose gets them the treat and it will also get them moving towards the pointer instead of just staying in one place. Now on to step three. This is when we're going to start moving the pointer so that your rabbit will follow it. So start by very slowly moving the pointer away from your rabbit and waiting for them to come up and touch it with their little nose. And then as soon as they touch it, you give it a, give your clicker a little click and give them a treat. 
and then slowly you'll start to increase the speed of the pointer. At this point, you're not having them do any like maneuvers or anything like that. It's just to get them used to the idea of following the pointer as it moves. So start slowly and then start to speed up. If you ever go too fast so that your rabbit doesn't follow it anymore, then slow down again and then slowly start to speed up again. You can do you can do little things like having your rabbit slowly walk in a circle. Simple things like that to get your rabbit to start following the pointer. This will get them used to following the pointer and recognizing once once they do get to it, they'll still get their treat. So you don't want them to be so frustrated with following the pointer that they can never touch it and never get their treat. But try to go longer and longer distances without your rabbit touching the pointer so that you can get them used to, you know, traveling around a little bit before they get that treat. Once your rabbit is getting used to following the pointer, you can start moving on to step four, which is teaching your rabbit some basic maneuvers. So you can teach them how to hop up onto a stool and then hop down again. You can teach them how to circle around you and go through your legs, or you can start training them to go through a tunnel, anything like that. And eventually you can teach them how to do some more complicated tricks like following the pointer through an obstacle course so that they can jump over some hurdles, go through a tunnel, things like that. And you can have a lot of fun training your rabbit to do some of these more complicated tricks. If you're looking for more tricks to teach a rabbit, you can check out my training playlist. I have a couple of other techniques for you, like uh, luring techniques to teach a rabbit how to spin. Um, I have like tricks you can teach a rabbit, like how to give a high five, how to give you kisses, that kind of thing. So check out those videos if that's the kind of thing that you're interested in doing with your rabbit. Thank you so much for watching, and I do hope that we will see you next week.